Hi Scorpio, welcome to your January 2022 general love reading. This is your girl Mermaid Scales Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me here. This is a general love reading for the Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and or any other strong placement for the sign of Scorpio. This will not resonate with every Scorpio that watches this message, and because this reading is general, not every single message may be for you, so please only take what resonates and leave what doesn't for someone else who needs to hear that message. If this reading is not for you at all, Scorpio, I highly suggest checking out your other signs and different placements. Hi, Crosswatchers. You're very welcome here if you're interested in a Scorpio. Who wouldn't be? I like to remind Scorpio and Crosswatchers that energy is fluid, and this simply means you may feel like I'm describing a certain situation in the reading where you feel the roles are flipped or reversed, and that's completely okay. You are more than welcome to use your own discretion to flip those roles if that resonates with your specific situation the best. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get this reading started by using my sound bowl to clear and set the energy. So if you are listening to this using headphones, I do suggest turning it down a little bit because I don't want your ears to hurt. So let's get this going. Very nice. Okay, so let's see what's happening for my Scorpios in love and romance for the month of January. What energies are around my beautiful Scorpios in January? Let's see, Spirit, tell me what's happening for Scorpio. Ooh, ooh. Okay, Scorpio, it's like that. Let's get into it. Addiction. Okay, um, yeah, this feels, I feel strong, um, sacral and solar plexus energy, but it feels kind of like a trigger type of thing. Um, and it doesn't feel triggering as in, you know, something worrying per se, but it feels like there's a connection you two have or that's around you that is like feeding for you, wanting you. I feel both of you are desiring, yearning for each other, but it comes to a point where I think you guys like I don't know, it's like somehow you always come back to each other, end up reconnecting with one another. It's just this like hunger for each other that I feel with this addiction card, and we can pull more cards as well, but it's kind of feeling a bit like we come back to each other all the time, but nothing ever moves forward, but we can't stay away from each other either. And I feel January, I think someone's really kind of understanding what this connection is. Is it good for me? Or does this just feed something within me that is a craving that maybe can't be solved through, you know, love and romance that needs to be worked within me? Um, but yeah, Scorpio, I feel this is around you. It could be you, if you're being honest with yourself, sure. But... There's someone who is yearning to see you again, wants to see you again, is hungry to see you for, like, my goodness, Scorpio, it feels pretty intense. But I also feel for someone like a resistance, knowing that this is no good for them, if they were to put this back into it again, despite, you know, maybe there's some feelings there too of passion, desire, but is it high vibrational? That's where we're going to have to pull more cards, but this says... And addiction is affecting this relationship. Okay, so straight up, some of you may be dealing with addiction, people that have addictions, and that's been really hard in this situation too. Um, and someone's been really trying to work through that, trying to help someone through that, really wanting someone to see how much this addiction has been impacting what you two have and where this could all go that you really have hoped for. Now, addictions could come in any means. It could be alcohol, drugs, sex, um, video games, food, you know, codependency even. For some of you, this is a big theme. But others of you, I feel this is just the energy you guys have for each other. Interesting. Let's go ahead and pull some more. I'm seeing the letter A, first, middle, last, initial. Could be in someone's name. Doesn't have to be. I want to get more information on this. Tell me more, Spirit. Mm -hmm. 
I will wait for a sign from you. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're keeping your space from this person. Maybe you guys haven't talked, you haven't communicated, but man, do they want to communicate to you, Scorpio. Man, do they want to reach out to you. It's getting harder and harder every day, but they're kind of waiting for some green light from you, whether that's you reaching out in the first place or, I don't know, a gut feeling, like some sort of green flag that they're waiting to see um, on your social media, hearing about you. Maybe you're, they're waiting to get unblocked from you. I don't know, for some of you, that may resonate. Um, but I, I think they definitely are trying to reach out or will reach out. I think it's coming to a point where they can't hold back any longer. They constantly think about you. They constantly fantasize about you. But I feel, Scorpio, I don't know why I'm getting this feeling, but it feels like there's just something that still hasn't been resolved. And if they were to only do this, if they were only to say this or show it, it would give you so much more security in it, but they have yet to do that. And maybe there's some things they, some demons, some things they're trying to work through, but they may also feel like you're the one to solve it and you're not, right? We all have our own healing. We all have our own processes, but Scorpio, like maybe they think if I were only to be with Scorpio, everything would be better, but... What made you guys drift apart in the first place and have they ever addressed that? I just feel they always want you to be the first to reach out or for you to be the one to make initiative or for you to always comfort them or support them, but clearly someone's not getting the same in return. Wow, alright, let's dive into this. I'm very curious about this. Let's see what the tarot has to say. I'm even hearing someone could live off of an intersection, uh, like right by a traffic light. <laughs> I don't know why that's coming through. Um, just could be confirmation for someone out there. It doesn't have to be. Ooh, I can see why someone's craving you, Scorpio. The Empress here, Taurus energy, Libra energy, powerful divine feminine energy. Yeah, I mean, Scorpio, I feel a lot of you are breaking out of this spiral of thoughts about them. I feel a lot of you have been starting to focus on your own well-being, your own security, your money, your career even for some of you, or just being independent. I don't know why I'm picking up on that with the Empress, but I am, and I usually don't, but you know, you're looking like a whole snack right now, Scorpio, and it doesn't matter gender or sex, but someone really has been, you know, during this time of separation, been doing what they need to do to heal, to grow, to get their prosperity, get their abundance, to live in abundance with or without something. And that's breaking the addiction you may have had with this person, wondering when they were going to come back, wondering what they were going to do, how they were going to approach you next. You just decided one day or in January you will, it starts at me. And then what's best for me will come. And if something doesn't feel in alignment or is too afraid to come out, then they may not be in my vibration, and that's fine. But I do feel, Scorpio, a lot of people see you as the empress, or this person most definitely does. Um, you're physically very attractive, and that's part of the desire they have, that that's out of the ego in some way. Um, some of you are into, you know, changing up your look quite frequently. Uh, maybe someone is into cosmetology, hair, design. Um, art, something that brings a lot of beauty into this world. Uh, you do. And I can see why they've been wanting you right now, Scorpio. Um, but with the Empress too, someone could be pregnant. Okay? Not for everyone. If it's not for you, it's not for you. But let's keep going. Mm. Sorry, you could probably tell from my facial expressions. Let me pull out all the cards. Oh, good. All right, Scorpio. Bottom of the deck, Page of Cups. So, water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. You could be dealing with another water sign. You could have a lot of water in your chart. It does not have to be the case in order for this reading to resonate. Yeah, so with the Page of Cups at the bottom of the deck, I really do feel that maybe this is someone who you've been giving a second chance to, you've been opening up to again, you've been in reconnection with. You opened up their, your heart to see where this can go. Um, but 
for a lot of you, this is still not serving you. You haven't been seeing the effort that you need to see from them to make you feel like this is more than, you know, just for now, as it has been for a while, just until they start to get antsy and start, you know, sabotaging. Definitely a lot of sabotaging here that someone keeps on doing, whether they don't feel like they're good enough, which I do see for some of you, honestly. Um, or they just, you know, they can't, because they haven't been focusing on healing within themselves, they've been looking for other things to fill that up. You being one of them, Scorpio. But with this Page of Cups at the bottom of the deck, I do feel that there's someone here in your heart space that is still kind of exists. If it's not for you, it's not for you, this reading maybe. But for others of you, like, you do have feelings when it comes to this person. When you think of them, there has been good times, but has the good outweighed the bad? And can it? That's what someone's struggling with right now. With the page, it could be someone that's a lot younger and age-wise um, in this situation. But it's just emotional maturity, I think, that's been in question here. And how they use you as that system of validation all the time, whether that's conscious or not. And I think, Scorpio, although you have feelings, you need to start focusing or you are starting to focus on what is going to bring you joy and happiness without a doubt, without question. I don't think it's been that way with this person. I do feel that they reached out to you recently, for some of you, very recently, last night, a couple days ago, a week ago, whatever. Seeing how you've been, how you're doing, I do think they care in their own way, but, you know, they have a lot of stuff they need to work on if they want to make it work with you because you are an empress energy and you need to stay in empress energy. And anything that takes you out of that has to go. And I think this is the moment where they can step up or step out. Let's get into this. So the center of this, we have the empress. So yeah, Venus energy. I think Scorpio, you know what it is that you want. You know what will make you happy. You know what will make you, you know, flourish in your love life that will make you feel that it is right to act on it, right to move. But you're waiting to see it from them. Interesting. I feel both of you are waiting from that from each other, but whoever this Empress is, Cross Watcher or Scorpio, this is the one who should stay in their place and wait to see if the other person is going to act. Because you have everything that you need with or without this person. You want this person to show you the care, but you re also realize that that's not the only thing that makes you feel validated in your life. Or a lot of you are going through that, through this connection with this person. Um, but you provide a lot. You provide a lot of love. You provide a lot of comfort, support. But does someone overuse that? I don't think this person means to. I'm not trying to defend whatever the case is, but I'm trying to tell you honestly what I'm tuning into. I think they're just lost. And they look to you as being that beacon of hope, love, support. And then when you give that like green light, when you open the gates, whatever, then they still don't want to work on the shit that they need to work on. But yeah, Scorpio, I think with this Empress too, because of the severity of this, knowing that you're, a, you're like, if you haven't already, you're about to really make moves towards other options if they're not going to do what they need to do for the Empress here. Um, I think out of severity, they may start acting. I see two knights here, so that's definitely movement. But it, it's still not a king, it's still not a queen that I see. Is the, are the steps going to be enough? They know you're not going to settle. They know you're not going to, you know, over try or over prove yourself. You don't need to. You really don't. I think it's them. Someone's favorite color is red or someone's aura color is red or someone's really been working on their root chakra to stabilize, to ground. And I think Scorpio, 
with that energy and that being said, like a lot of you are looking to see what is going to be reality in this. No more you can be lost in the fantasy and the, you know, imagination of where this can go. You're seeing it as it is, which is a good thing, honestly. Someone could be wearing red right now even. Anyway, crossing the situation is the Four of Cups. Cancer energy. So, yeah, I just feel that someone is just not happy with where things are right now in this. Yeah, there has been a desire, a crave, but is it fleeting once it's being given, right? That's the thing about passion sometimes. We want it so bad, and then when we have it, it just kind of dissipates. It dissolves. And you want passion that's going to be long term, which is not easy to find, especially in this day of age, which I can go in a whole video about, which I won't, but, <laughs> um, you know, it's just something where you feel like the passion's fleeting or just where it was so strong before, it's starting to grow resentment here. That's what I feel with this card strongly. And that from them not wanting to change or not wanting to step up or making the moves you need to see, that's what's growing more resentment here and making someone withdraw because it's not giving them anything of value and it's not selfish it's something where it's like look I've been wanting this I want you but if you can't give me what I want and need I have to start thinking that's I, I just feel that's where it is right now you're starting to think about where what is realistic, what can move forward, because someone's not happy. I feel the other person is. So again, use your intuition to decipher what role you're in. Someone really thinks everything's okay when you're around, when you're there. But for you, it's not enough. Damn. What's crowning this reading is the Eight of Swords, Gemini energy. Scorpio, they're worried. They feel stuck. They feel trapped. So if you guys have been taking that time apart, they're miserable. They've been even, um, you know, trying to reach out to friends and family members, talking about how upset they are over you, the separation with you, how they can't, you know, it's almost as if they're using someone else as an emotional anchor because you're not there anymore. Um, so they're looking for someone else to be that and it's not fulfilling them in any way and it's making them very scared if it's truly over between the two of you. It's like every day that they don't hear from you, it starts to get them worried more, stressed out more. Even feeding their even demons more, addictions more. I mean, this person looks like they're hungover. Um, so drinking could have been something for some of you guys. Um, but they're not doing well, Scorpio, at all. Maybe some of you are starting to grow, starting to heal, starting to ground yourself while someone is like losing control. And I think they're making the situation a lot more difficult than it has to be. There are a few things that you ask. And I don't think there are things that are demanding. I don't think there are things that are, you know, out of this world crazy. I think they're very simple. Be with me consistently. Don't leave me hanging. Don't leave me questioning. Don't leave me doubting. Provide certainty and I'll be here. But start to throw tricks in the game. I feel like moodiness and snappiness at you that isn't deserved. That's when things start to get difficult and it's not for me. I'm not going to play into that anymore even. And I think people, whoever you're dealing with does that out of reaction. Maybe that's what they've learned, <laughs> programmed to do, is that when things get tough, they stress out and they bite heads off, they sabotage and, you know, th that's just something that they need to heal and deal with. And I think you've been trying to help them with it, but you can only do so much, Scorpio. But this person's worried sick. Worried sick over this connection with you. Worried sick if they're not going to have you, any access to you. That you're moving on while they're still so, so stuck. Reading this is the Five of Wands, Leo energy. Interesting. So a couple things here. For some of you, I feel that you guys have been in fights, arguments, um, you know, because someone's too stubborn, someone doesn't want to change who they are, that type of energy. Like, I think if that is a message that resonates with you, I feel that has to do with an addiction of some sort. 
um, you know, I've, I've had people who are addicted in my life around me and, you know, the one thing that they've always said was that, like, you're trying to change who I am when, you know, I don't think who you are is tied to, you know, a substance or a lifestyle. You know, almost devil energy, that kind of thing. Um, could be dealing with a Capricorn, perhaps. But anyway, so I do feel arguments, fights, disputes, and maybe one big fight that you guys haven't talked since then that is still kind of the white elephant in the room that they're afraid to address if they were to reach out to you, that they know they would have to. Um, you know, they have issues with that. But uh, others of you, if you've been separated, you haven't talked, like they're afraid of the competition. Because again, with the Empress being the center, they know you have everything to attract another lover, another person to replace them. And I think in their mind, they're worried if you're talking to other people. I think this person is very protective and jealous when it comes to you. And maybe they've been in fights over you before, physically or verbally, I don't know. Um, but I also feel with this Five of Wands rooting this, like still when they're in your life, it's kind of chaotic. And it throws your Empress energy off a bit. You know, so anything that kind of disrupts that, you're looking into seeing if it's worth the fight. If they're not willing to fight for you or fight for this or change for this. Damn. I kind of want to clarify this Five of Wands. Tell me more. Oof. Page of Wands and the Sun. You know what I feel with this combination here? And it's almost like... You may feel this or notice this too, but it's like when things are about to get really, really good, feel really, really good. And this is what happens when we're not healed. Someone thinks it's too good to be true and tries to disrupt it all. Isn't that interesting? Strong Leo energy in this reading. So if you're dealing with the Leo or if you have Leo in your chart, I definitely suggest checking out the Leo reading to see if there's messages for you there. But yeah, that's what it really feels like. And others of you, if that's not so much the case, it's that... They're really worried and struggling and having a lot of inner turmoil over this with you because they realize you are their happiness and that they're happiest with you. That, and again, like from not hearing from you with this page of wands, from you reaching out, wanting to start something new, giving them that excitement of seeing your message in their inbox, it's making them really worried and stressed and even fighting with their friends and mem family members, but it's all centered around you, Scorpio, honestly. Bottom of the deck, Queen of Swords. Yeah, I feel this is your energy. Regardless of gender or sex, you are someone who is holding your boundaries, holding your grounds, Libra energy, who is cutting through the BS now, who wants to see reality, truth, nothing less. And that's why, you know, I think they're kind of viewing you as being cold. You're not being cold, you're just waiting to see more before you give any more action or thought into this. Recent past, we have the Knight of Swords, Gemini energy. What I feel with this card is that this is the urge, this is the need, this is the panic, the, how would I describe this, like this fast need to hear from you that they're really holding back. Again, whether that's because they know there's going to be things that you guys need to talk about that they don't want to talk about yet. Whether they're waiting for you to do it, I don't know. But this Knight of Swords is just building up and up and up. And the problem with it is, is that it's making tension. It's making aggression. And I even feel, Scorpio, that, um, I don't know, for those of you that there's not space, you haven't, uh, you have heard from them, they've been a lot more snippy. They've been a lot more defensive. And it's because you've changed your vibration. It's because you've changed your um, frequency to not accept this pettiness anymore, um, this childish or immaturity even. So, you know, now they're all of a sudden getting really snippy with you or if you don't respond in a certain way or, or a certain time, you, you know, they get nasty with you in some cases that you don't deserve, truly. Um, I'm seeing something about a black car too. Someone could drive a black car. I don't know why that's coming through. It could just be confirmation for someone out there. Um, or they've driven by your house. I don't know. They've tried to come over. I don't know. Others of you, this is just 
the buildup, right? The buildup of wanting to talk, but still, like, you don't see this horse moving. And that's why I get so many different tarot decks, because every artist depicts the card differently. And with this message, yeah, I feel they're urged to reach out, they're urged to want to talk, but they're not doing it. What you need to know about this situation is the Knight of Cups, Pisces energy. So, Scorpio, a couple different things about this card here that I'm feeling. For some of you, I feel that, yeah, eventually they're going to reach out. If you haven't been talking to them, they will. I think they can't resist the urge anymore. And they may come up with an apology, but still avoiding, I feel, this avoidance of talking about the real issues here. Others of you with this Knight of Cups, Scorpio, I feel you really need to listen to your intuition, your gut, your heart, and what's truly best for you with the reality that's around you. You know, I think sometimes when people hear listen to your heart, it means if you have any feelings for someone, do that. It means more of what is going to give you fulfillment and joy, despite having feelings for someone if they never had in the first place, and move towards what will give you that fulfillment happiness. And also, Scorpio, I think they're right about their suspicions of you having other admirers, okay? I do feel there's people who have been hitting you up, maybe people from the past, maybe people who have been seeing your Instagram, you have an online dating app, you reactivate it, I don't know, but who are interested in you. And maybe that is something to explore if this person isn't going to do the right thing. But a lot of you, I feel there is supposed to be movement towards more fulfillment and happiness that you're going to decide by the end of the month whether it's going to be with them or without them. I really do feel this month is the make or break between the two of you. Damn. All right, Scorpio, to see the likely outcome of the situation, what's likely to happen, unfold, anything, any other advice that you need to hear about this connection, we're going to go ahead and take this to the extended reading. I'm going to overturn this card here to see the likely outcome, and I'm going to also pull some oracle cards to dive deeper into this connection, the purpose of it, what is meant to happen in this unfold, what do they need to do, anything else that could provide you clarity. If you'd like to join me for the extended reading, open up the description box and you'll find a link to Vimeo, which will take you to the extended reading. But... If this is where we depart, Scorpio, I really hope that this reading has resonated with you in some way. It's giving you clarity, insight, healing, and guidance in regards to what may be happening in your love life. If it has, please let me know. Drop a comment below, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe. I love you, Scorpio, very much, and I'll see you next time. Take care, Scorpio.